Hello teachers, students, and explorers, and welcome to the EcoBlitz. This is a video tutorial on how to use the Marine Debris Tracker app. You'll want to download the Marine Debris Tracker app, and once it's on your device, tap it to open it. To get started, click on Start Tracking. You'll want to click the EcoBlitz list, tap it, and confirm you've got the proper list, and then click Use This List. At the top of the app, you see buttons. If you press on the paper and lumber button, it'll take you down to the paper and lumber category. If you press on the white triangle in the lower right hand corner of your screen, it'll take you back to the top. In front of me, I see a plastic cup. You can't see it because my camera's not on, but if I scroll down and find where plastic cups are, I'm gonna tap on the add button. Before I do, look at the garbage can in the top left corner. It reads zero pieces of trash. Once I press add, the lid opens and one piece of trash is inside. I see a straw. If I tap add, lid opens and a second piece of trash is in my container. I also see a plastic food container. Again, I'll tap add and it's added to my collection. There's also a piece of foam in front of me. If I tap add for foam, I've got my fourth piece and I do see a piece of paper. It is a paper napkin. When I click on paper, I need to figure out where I'd want to put a paper napkin. It's not really a food wrapper, and it's definitely not lumber or a paper bag. I'm going to choose paper and cardboard and tap add. I've got five pieces of data collected. Now, if you look in the bottom of your screen, you'll see a question mark. That question mark will take you online to the Marine Debris Tracker app for a video tutorial. You notice a camera icon that I can use to go ahead and take a photograph of the trash I've collected. Here's my trash. I'm going to go ahead and snap my picture. If I like it, I can click Use Photo. Additionally, there's a turtle button. That little button shows you your personal information. And you can also press the two vertical lines to pause your track. As you're collecting data, we ask that you keep it on so we can see the path that you took as you were gathering your data. The gear cog will allow you to personalize the app a little bit. If I click on Vibrate on Log, every time I collect a piece of data, my phone vibrates. What if you go to a location and you find a lot of data, say a hundred or more pieces of plastic? There's a quick way to add that. If you found plastic cups and say there were 20 of them, instead of pressing add 20 times, just tap on the number and enter the number in whole numbers, 25 cups, and I can go ahead and say add. I'm gonna bring that back to one because I only saw two items there, and I'm ready to go ahead and submit my data. Once I tap on the top right hand corner with the orange triangle, it'll show me the track that I took and it will show me the data I've collected. If you click on submit, you're going to see a survey. We ask that you fill the survey out carefully. Put your teacher's name, your school name, your class name, how many students were collecting. Put the time that you collected to the nearest half hour and also the location name. If possible, add a street address and make sure to tell us what kind of location it was, park, school, waterway or beach. As you're collecting data, look around. Do you see any trash bins, recycle bins, or composting bins? If so, click on it and enter a number that you see. Once you click on the data, you'll submit it. Once you submit it, you'll get a message saying that your data has been submitted. 